Jesus. God bless you, Latvia. God bless you. I don't speak Latvian, but I do speak English. So I'm going to speak as slowly as I can. What's that? But I want to bless you today. I want to give you the ingredients to life. For example, Jesus Christ is the way, my friend. All right? I don't know what you've been through, my brother, but I know you've been through something, right? We've all been through something. And I've been through many things in my life. I've been through many hurts, many pains, many people have wronged me, many bad things. I've done many bad things. And Jesus Christ changed my life completely. All right? He changed my life fully and completely. I used to do drugs. I used to be addicted to drugs. All right? I used to drink. I used to party. I used to find myself in strangers' beds. All right? I have quite a testimony. I've done many bad things. But Jesus Christ can forgive you for everything that you have ever done. The forgiveness of God is here right now today. That if you call upon His name, Jesus, if you call upon His name, His power can change your life in the most incredible way. Excuse me. Yes. Stronger than any demon, stronger than any witchcraft, any Harry Potter, stronger than any sorcery you would ever know, stronger than these psychics and mediums that do the right magic. Jesus has working power to heal your body and your soul. If anybody has needs where they need healing from wounds on their body, we will pray for you for God to heal you so that people can see the demonstration of God's power here in Latvia. If you need healing to the wounds that you carry, anxiety, fear, nervousness, heaviness, anger, we will pray for you. Jesus Christ loves you. There is a way through this life that you can find peace, that you can find joy unspeakable. You don't have to drink to find an escape for your sorrows. You will not find peace at the bottom of a bottle. But Jesus Christ can give you peace which lasts. God never promised to fix our problems. I know we all have many problems. God never promised to fix them, but He promises to give us peace in the midst of many problems. He will change you and take you. God bless you. He will change you and take you from darkness into light, from death into life. He can forgive your most, uh, most awful of sins. It doesn't matter if you've committed murder, rape, child molestation. I don't know what you've done. Many people have never sinned as bad as that, but nothing that you have done is beyond the reach of a, God, of a mighty God. His hand is not too short to save. Here's the thing, though, when God saves us, He changes us. He changes everything about us. We do not stay the same. He'll give us joy when we used to have nothing but anxiety and sorrow. What have you been through, my brother? I see the hurt on your face. We hide behind a smile. We hide behind uh, laughs, and we act like we don't care. But I see sorrow in your soul, my brother. I know somebody has hurt you in your life. I want you to know that I care about you. I love you. Jesus Christ, He loves you. I promise you that. I know many people here can live their whole life and never hear someone say, I love you. So I don't know if you've ever heard that, but I do. I don't know anything about you. That's the, But that is God. Only God can do that. Only God can help us love complete strangers. The Bible says the greatest commandment is to love the Lord with all of your heart, mind, soul, and strength. And the second commandment is this, to love your neighbor as yourself. You are my neighbor, and I love you as myself. The Bible teaches us to put the needs of others first and to put us last. Do you understand? And so I put you first right now so that you can know that whatever you are going through, I promise you the answers are found in God's holy word. When we are lost in this world, we read the Bible, it doesn't make any sense. It's like, a, it's like gobbledygook. It, it, it's just a, a riddle. It makes no sense. But when God touches us and He opens our heart, we read the Bible, it's the words of life. It becomes food for our soul. We eat and we get stronger. So that when the darkness in this world, the darkness is what causes people to do bad things, that's the influence of the enemy through people against us. When the darkness comes against you, maybe through your parents, 
to your siblings, through strangers, through schoolmates, and people are mean to you for whatever reason, that's the enemy trying to attack you. But if you trust in Jesus, no matter who comes against you, who attacks you, you can know that God is in control. You can know that God gives you peace. And you can bless your enemies. Even though people want to hurt you and they hate you so much, you can still bless them, smile at them, and love them as Christ loves us. And only God can do that, my brother. God bless you. Thank you. Yeah, no worries. I hope you have a blessed day. Have a nice Read day. your Bible, brother. All right? The answers of life are in there, I promise you. Jesus. He is the name above every name. At his name, every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that he is Lord. One day we die from the dust we came to the dust we return. We will all die, it's certain. Your soul is eternal. Your soul goes to heaven or hell. And only by the blood of Jesus Christ do we find life and payment for the penalty of our sin. Jesus will pay the payment for your sin. Somebody has to pay for your sin. And if Jesus doesn't pay it, you pay, you pay with your soul for eternity but he is the substitute he is the atonement he's the sacrifice so instead of you paying with your soul he's paying with his blood and you say jesus i trust in you and then he'll put his spirit inside of you and he'll change your whole life your whole life i am here for no other reason than so you might have life and life more abundantly I am here for no other reason than so that you might be touched by God today. The kingdom of God is in love. Love covers a multitude of sin. Love heals all wounds. Love forgives when we want to hate. Love gives us the power to forgive. My friends, the Bible says, Jesus himself said, come to me. Heavy laden means when the weight of the world weighs you down and you're carrying such a heavy load on your shoulders of life and you're, you're so heavy on your shoulders of anxiety and depression, alcoholism, wounded by others and you're carrying the weight of life and you just can't take another step. Jesus will take the weight on your shoulders and he will carry it for you. And then he'll give you a new yoke. He'll give you a new burden so that you can walk with joy and with a smile. So that when people look at you and call you crazy, you can bless them and say, Jesus loves you. Because he gives us peace in the midst of every circumstance. Last year in August, I lost almost everything I own in Hurricane Harvey. God never promised to give us the best life. But I was able to have supernatural peace through the entire ordeal, through the entire uh, event of losing everything. I was able to keep my peace because I knew that God is in control of my life. And now he has returned to me even greater blessings upon my life. So much more than what I had. God is faithful. If you do not know Jesus, I urge you to call upon his name, repent for your sin. Confess him as Lord. The Bible says that if you confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord, God bless you. And if you confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, that you will be saved. The Bible says, humble yourself in the sight of God and he will lift you up. You precious to God. So much so that Jesus died for your sins. But the reality is, if you rebel against him and you die in your sin, you will be cast into hell for all of eternity. This is the truth of the gospel. But God does not want it to be this way for you. It is the will of God that none perish, but that all come to eternal life in Christ Jesus. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. The kingdom of God has come near to you today, my friends. Hear the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Prepare the way of the Lord. Jesus is coming back soon. Evil has run rampant. 
Wrong has become right, and right has become wrong. We're teaching our children to put on, we're teaching our little boys to put on little girl clothes. We're teaching our little girls to put on little boy clothes. We're teaching perversion and sexual immorality. We're teaching them how to twerk and dance to evil music. This is not a way that's holy or pleasing to yeah, yeah. We must live a life that is pleasing to God. But this is impossible to do without God's power to enable us to do it. I love you. I don't know if you've ever heard that. I don't know how much you hear, but I love you. And God, Jesus Christ, God's Son loves you. And it is the will of God that you know Jesus Christ. That you know God the Father through His Son, Jesus Christ. It is the will of God that you have peace in your soul. If you want to know Him today, call upon His name. Come to us. We will pray with you. If you need healing in your body, if you need healing in your soul, if you need a touch from God, come to us. We will pray with you. We care about you. We're going to stop preaching for a few minutes. Please come if you would like prayer. Thank you, and God bless you. All right. My name is Philip, and uh, I travel all over the world. And I don't say that to brag. But what I am saying is so that you understand how big this is for you, okay? Alex, God has an appointment with you today. Okay? Think about it like this. There is a God in the heavens who created all of this around us. Do you see how beautiful this city is? Human hands made this city. How much more beautiful this earth is and God's creation. How much more beautiful you are than this city. Do you understand? God of all creation. God of the heavens and the earth. The Bible says in his hands are the soul of every living thing and the breath of all mankind. In the Bible it says that God loves you and knows you so much. He knows every the number of every hair on your head. He knows exactly how many hairs you have on your, hair, on your head. The Bible says that He catches your tears in a bottle. I believe with all of my heart that God meant for us to meet you today. And that's big. And this is why I'm telling you that I travel all over the world. I go to many countries. But that God loves you so much that he would send me here to Latvia so that I can encounter you on this particular day in the midst of your hurt and whatever you're going through in life that God could send me here to meet you so that you might hear his voice and feel his touch. I firmly believe that God wants to begin today a process of transformation in your life where you can be touched by God so much that he's going to heal every wound that's in your soul. See, often, if I cut myself with a knife, we see the wound, but our soul is in our body, right? We have a soul in our body, and our, our soul gets wounded by sin and by the way people treat us. We can't see these, but they are just as real as a, as a, a, a wound in our flesh. God wants to heal the wounds of your soul because he cares about you and loves you so much. We stopped preaching to find you. We knew you had left. We had no idea where you went. We stopped preaching. I have an urgency to find you because I know that God wants to, uh, to move in your life, okay? I want to ask you though, just be completely honest with me. I will answer every question you have. We'll stay here as long as I need to stay here so that you fully understand. But I want to ask you, do you believe in Jesus Christ? Uh, for me, it's like, uh, it's not a yes or no, I don't know. It's like, so-so, uh, I can answer that yeah. question. Uh, okay, so. Do you have a Bible? Yeah, I have a Bible. Yeah. Do you have one for yourself? Yeah. Do you have a Bible you can read? Uh, I can read, but I'm not reading it. Yeah, I understand. I encourage you to read your Bible, read the book of John, okay, because it has God talking, a lot, or Jesus talking a lot in that book, and he conveys his character. We're going to pray with you today, all right? Salvation, I believe this with all of my heart, salvation is not found in one prayer. You can't just pray a prayer and be like, I'm saved, and go live however you want to live. But prayer 
when you pray right now and you ask Jesus to forgive you and you confess belief in him, God will begin a process of change in your life. We can pray for God to fill you with his spirit, okay? We can pray for God to, um, to just manifest himself in your life and touch you in an incredible way. But you have to choose today who you will serve. Do I want to serve this world? Do I want to live for myself? Do I want to walk in darkness? Do I want to stumble through darkness trying to figure out where I'm going? Or do I want to humble myself underneath the protection of God? And then what's awesome about this is that you can know when, when you say, God, I will serve you, he puts you on his path. God created you for a reason, for a very specific purpose. And he will put you on his path and he will shine a light onto your path so you can see where you're going and he will tell you exactly where to go and he will protect you all along the way. So if anybody tries to come against you, they'll say, no, get back, devil. He is mine. He belongs to me. Evil is real. We see so much evil all around us. Children being abused and hurt, raped and neglected, right? We see children in other countries. They're kidnapped. And these people will cut them from their neck down to their belly button. They will cut children and they will open their chest and they will take out their or organs. They don't give them medicine. They don't do anything to help them. They just cut them open. They hold them down, cut them open, take their organs out so they can sell their organs to the highest bidder. Evil in this world, right? God will protect you from the evil of this world, but you have to humble yourself under his authority, right? It's like an umbrella. We get underneath God's umbrella, the rain doesn't fall on us anymore, okay? But you have to choose today. You have to choose today. Maybe you'll have another chance. Maybe you'll get hit by a bus later on tonight. I don't know what's gonna happen to you, but you have to choose today. Who are you going to serve? Am I going to serve Jesus? And I promise you, it's not about, don't misunderstand me. It's not about keeping rules, okay? It's about loving God. And when you love God, God will enable you and give you the desire and the ability to keep the rules. The rule keeping comes after the love part, right? God says, come as you are. He didn't actually say, come as you are, but he did say, come to me as all you who are weary and heavy laden. He said, come to me, and then he will change you. He'll transform your heart. He'll give you a new heart. The Bible says he takes your heart of stone, and it gives you a new heart of flesh. And he'll use your own tears to soften your heart so he can mold you. You know what mold means? It means uh, shape your heart into what he wants it to be. Do you want to pray with me today? Will you pray with me today? Please? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have you pray with me. And I understand. Pray with me, uh, and then I will pray for you. Hold my hand. Just say what I say, okay? Close your eyes. Open your heart to God, okay? I know you feel something. We can all see that you feel something, that God is touching you today. Do not be afraid of anybody. Nobody can make a choice but you. Only you can choose the direction of your life. And I promise you, if you choose this journey, your life will get so much better, okay? Yeah. But in ways that you would not think, he'll give you peace and he'll give you joy and he'll give you love, okay? Say, close your eyes. Say, Jesus, today I choose to believe in you. To believe in you. Help me. To love you. I believe, I believe that you died for me. I believe that your blood that you shed on the cross covers my sins. Please forgive me for everything that I have done. Everything I have done against you against you. I repent. I give you my heart. I give you my heart. I give you my soul. I give you my mind. I give you my strength. Put your love in me. Change my heart. Change my life. Jesus, I confess you as Lord. 
I believe, I believe that on the third day, on the third day you, you rose from the dead. Jesus, I believe, I believe that you died for me. Died for me. Jesus, Jesus, today, today I, choose, I choose from now, from now until, the day I die, until the day I die and for all of eternity, I will serve you and only you. I give you everything. I, give you everything. I, promise, I promise to read my Bible, to read my Bible. And, to pray. and to pray and to draw near to you. In Jesus' name, Jesus in your name, I thank you, I praise you, and I give you glory. Thank you for your grace and your mercy and your love right now in the name of Jesus Christ I command all darkness to leave me alone I break all power of all evil spirits against my life in the name of Jesus Christ and I take authority over you I'm gonna pray for you, okay? Thank you. No, no worries. I'm gonna pray. Oh, I'm gonna pray for you right now. Actually, if you don't mind, I have some. I have some oil here, okay? It's normal oil. There's nothing wrong with. It. The Bible says though to anoint the sick so that they can be healed, okay? You don't appear to be sick, but your your soul has wounds in it, okay? And I'm gonna pray for God to heal those wounds that hurt. All right? Okay. And God is faithful. Hey, I love you. I love you. Thank you. Thank you. Whoa. There's a hole in it. What? This is the second one that's broken on me. See, it's got a crack in it right there. Oh, it's got it. I'm just going to touch you for a little bit. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, I give you glory for Alex. Lord, I pray that you would bless him. I pray that you would pour in your love and your life and your mercy and your grace. I pray that you would heal the wounds of his soul, Lord. I pray that you would break the powers of darkness over his life. I pray that you would just give him a desire to live in complete surrender, that you would raise him up as a warrior in this city. So many souls need to hear about you. I pray that you would use him in this city to preach your gospel. I pray that your power would be manifested through him. I pray that you would baptize him in the Holy Spirit of God. I pray that he would just be filled with your mercy and your grace and your love and the glory and the power of God would manifest through him, through his lips, through his hands, through his feet, Lord, that everything he touches would be blessed, that everything he speaks would be blessed, that every step he takes would be blessed, and that you would break the powers of darkness and the forces of hell from his life. I command every evil spirit that would come against him to leave right now. I come against every demonic spirit that would attack him or cause him wounds or hurt or pain. I bind the depression right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I bind the hurt right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I bind every spirit of anger or emptiness or unworthiness or worthlessness or self-loathing, self-hatred, I bind you in the name of Jesus Christ and I command all of you to leave and I pray that you would just touch him, Lord, that you would just work a mighty work in his life. I bless him, Lord. Help him to know that he is greatly loved in the name of Jesus. We thank you, God, for what you're going to do in Alex's life. Amen. Do you want to pray for him? God loves you so much, man. God loves you so much. I promise you, with every ounce that's in me, He loves you so much. Exceeding abundant, the Bible says, exceeding abundantly above all we could ever ask or think. That just means a lot. Like more you can imagine, more you could ever know, He loves you that much, okay? When you're hurting, when you're, you're broken, always remember that. I, I believe that over the next couple of months, you're going to cry a lot, okay? Don't be scared. Whenever you give your heart to God and you begin to, 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 to walk to Him, He will use those tears to bring healing. They're healing tears, they're good tears, good tears. They'll make you feel better afterwards, okay? Don't keep yourself from crying and let yourself cry. 
okay? And there'll be the, the most amazing tears. I want you to get his information. He lives here in Latvia, okay? And he will help you. He will help you get plugged into a church and have brothers who will help you when you need someone to talk to. When you're like, man, I just don't know what to do. People will be there to help you and pray for you and to give you whatever you need. You're not alone in this journey, okay? God has supplied you with an open door. Just walk through it, my brother, okay? I believe in divine circumstances. God will not bring us here and then have such a dramatic change in your life that you're so greatly affected and then for you to just leave and your life to be the same that it's always been. Something happened great here today, okay? Walk in that. Believe that with all your heart. Alright? All right. So pray for him to do it. Alright, pray for him. We'll pray right now. So let's pray, Lord. Let's pray right now that God's hand will be upon your life. Because I can feel the presence of God so strong here right now. Mm -hmm. I can feel the presence of God in your life because the Lord wants to change you right now. The Lord wants to heal your wounds in your soul. The Lord wants, really wants you to, to live for Him, right? Hallelujah, Jesus, hallelujah, Jesus. Lord God, I pray that your hand would be upon His life, Lord God. Lord, that in all the darkness that surrounds Him, that He would be the light of time, because you are the light of the world, Lord God. You are the light of the world, Lord Jesus. And when your spirit is in Him, Lord God, it shines abundantly. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, I pray that you are with him when he feels alone, that you are with him in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Even in times of darkness, in times of trouble, you will be there with him and he will feel your presence there, Lord Jesus. That he will not be scared, that he will not be ashamed of your name, that he will rejoice because you have saved him and pulled him out of sin in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We love you, bro. Um, Let me get your phone number. Yes. 